What's up, YouTube? You know what time it is. It's my fan time. And uh, got a, uh, a Mitchell Ness pickup to share with you guys. This is the jersey that I was telling you in the last video that I was I was waiting on in the mail, and it came today in the mail. And I was really happy because I was really looking forward to this. This this is a, uh, I should say was, <laughs> a uh, baseball grail of mine. And I was finally able to get a big shout out to Big Slim because he's the one that told me about this on eBay. After a month ago, he, he told me about another one that I missed on because there was a bidding war going on. I missed on it. Well, this time, no, don't have to worry about that because it was a buy it now. And I actually got cheaper than I would have had to pay last month. So remember that train station theory I was telling you about on eBay? Well, this is... A prime example of that. And, of course, I'm rocking my swingman Dr. J circa 1976ers jersey because tonight on NBA TV there's a documentary on Dr. J, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Eastern time, uh, called The Doctor, and I'm really looking forward to it because I really like their documentary they did last year on the Dream Team, the original Dream Team. And I believe it was just called The Dream Team, and I think that it is on YouTube, so check it out. If you don't have NBA TV, I'm sure at some point The Doctor will show up on YouTube, too, in its entirety, so you know, be sure to check it out. But I really liked the Dream Team documentary, so I'm looking forward to watching, you know, the Doctor tonight. And uh, you know, of course, me being the Sixers fan, Throwback King too. I'm sure you know we're both. Uh, I wonder if he's rocking his Doctor J tonight too. But anyhow, uh, let's get right to the pickup because that's the main point of this of this video. So let's get right to it. And there it is, the 1990 Eric the Red, Eric Davis, Cincinnati Reds World Series jersey. Um, that has been a holdout for me for quite some time. Not quite to Dion levels, but certainly it was getting close. <laughs> uh, took me a while to finally get it, but I'm such a sucker for the pullovers from the 70s and 90s. I love that style baseball jersey, and I'm such a big fan of the Reds jerseys. Really throughout most of, the, I mean, if not all of their history, I mean, even up to today, I really like them. They're so sharp and, cl and just classic looking. And uh, I, I still have to get a current day one, but... I really am a big fan of the Reds jerseys. I mean, they're one of the teams that I have probably the most jerseys of for baseball, as well as the Phillies, of course, being the first, and then the Pirates in there, too, and then there's the Reds. But um, this is my first from the circa 1990s, and like I said, it's an Eric Davis older run made in El Salvador. Let's get right to it. The 44s are double-stitched on the front. Of course, it's the home white. The uh, American flag patch on the front, which both the Reds and A's wore in that World Series, because that was around the time of the uh, uh, Desert Storm going on in the Middle East and, uh, of course, support of the troops. So the uh, teams were the American flag on there, jerseys during that World Series. It's also got, of course, the, the classic Reds logo on the front, chain stitching going around, as you can see, the white in that C and then the Reds. And, of course, being as it's representing the World Series from that year, there's the 1990 World Series logo. It's got the yoke sleeves, just really nice with the triple stripes going on. Uh, very nice, very patriotic jersey, too. I might have to wear that on the 4th of July. <laughs> um, oh, and, of course, the, the jock tag. 1990 Eric Davis. And then there's the uh, Made in El Salvador tagging on the neck. Uh, turn it around. There you see Davis, triple, uh, double stitch, I almost said triple stitch, double stitch, of course, um, big and bold, and it's got the, the 44 double stitched as well. Very, very clean, very classic jersey that the Reds wore back then. Um, turn it back around, and I'll show you the swag factor for it. I got actually two swag factors for it. I got this one. I still have to get the 1990 World Series hat. Like I got the 1976 for my 1976 Reds jerseys, but maybe someday. I know uh, Big Slim got one for his Eric Davis, so I might have to follow suit. But I got that one. And since it is a white jersey, hey, you know what? Why don't we just go with a white Reds hat? This is actually one of my older Reds hats. It's probably like the one of the first Reds hats I ever owned, but there it is. It's an old Nike uh, Flex Fit. <laughs> Reds. So there you go. I think it goes pretty good together. But anyhow, YouTube, that's going to do it for me for this pickup video. A jersey that I do hope that Mitchell Ness makes someday. Mitchell Ness, if you're watching this, maybe <laughs> if, if they ever make this, you'll, you'll know the reason. But uh, I'm, I'm hoping that someday they make the Rogue Gray uh, Reds Barry Larkin uh, with the World Series and the flag and all. I think that would look really cool. And of course, they won that World Series on the road. They won in Oakland that year. So it'd be pretty cool if they ever made a Barry Larkin 
uh, Reds jersey with that big Cincinnati on the front. And, and yes, that was another pullover too. <laughs> uh, but that that's a classic looking jersey too. If I can ever had to have that one made up, I would. But I, it's just near impossible to find those blanks for those Reds jerseys back then. But yeah, it would be pretty cool if they ever made it. Um, you know, maybe someday they will. I mean, Barry Larkin, Hall of Fame shortstop, you know, and uh, that would be pretty cool. It would be nice to have a matching set, the uh, the home white and then the away gray from 1990 and all that double stitching and all. Yeah, that looks good. That's a good look. Hopefully they make that someday. I'm hoping that they get the rights to Barry Larkin someday so they can make that jersey. Or maybe if, if ever I can get a blank one, I'll have it done, but... Like I said, it's hard to find the blanks on those. I've looked. <laughs> but anyhow, um, anyhow, that's going to do it for the pickup for this video. Again, 1990, made in El Salvador. Eric Davis, Cincinnati Reds. Love that jersey. Just took me a while to get, but finally it's here. It's finally here. But anyhow, again, a big shout out to you, Big Slim. Thanks for looking out. Um, you know, really appreciate it because, like I said, this this sucker has has gotten away from me a few times. Not Dion, but it's gotten away from me like Dion a few times. So happy I don't have to look for it again. But anyhow, I'm gonna go watch the the doctor uh, documentary. And uh, so, as always, a big shout out to all my subscribers, to all my fellow Jersey heads, all the all the groups on Facebook, family, friends, fellow Deviant Art members, anyone I'm forgetting. This is Mighty Fan saying peace, and I will see you in that next video. Okay.